Hey there, fellow Retro Tech fans! Welcome to another 3 minute Retro Revival video. Today I am excited to introduce to you the Atari 800XL, a home computer system that was released back in 1983. This computer had a sleek and stylish design with a beige and brown color scheme and a sturdy keyboard. It quickly became a game changer in the world of computing and gaming. And above all, this was the first computer that I owned. Let's take a closer look at what made this system so special. The Atari 800XL was a powerhouse of a computer, with most 6502 8-bit CPU, 64KB of memory and a custom graphic chip called Antic. This allowed for high resolution graphics and smooth animation, making it a popular choice for gaming. But that's not all. The Atari 800XL also had a custom sound chip called Pokey that provided high quality audio from music and sound effects in games and other applications. The Atari 800XL had a variety of gaming options. First of them were cartridges. They could be inserted into the cartridge slot on top of the system, providing instant access to the software. They also didn't suffer from the data degradation or read errors that could occur with other storage mediums like discs or cassettes, but they were expensive. Discs were another popular storage medium for the Atari 800XL. They offered more storage space than cartridges, making them ideal for larger software titles. One of the most popular disk drives for the Atari 800XL was the 1050 drive. To load up a game, you just had to connect the drive and turn the computer on. Sometimes it was required to hold the Option key to disable BASIC in order to free up extra memory. The Atari 1010 program recorder was yet another storage option for the Atari 800XL. It was a peripheral device that allowed users to save and load programs and data on standard audio cassette tapes. To load up a game, you had to hold Start and sometimes the Option keys while turning the computer on. This yielded a recognizable buzzer sound and you could press any key to start loading the game. All of these peripherals were connected using the CO cable, which could change them all together. CO was also the predecessor of USB. The Atari 800XL was also compatible with a variety of input devices, including a trackball. The trackball was particularly well suited for arcade style games and one of the most popular games for the Atari 800XL that utilized the trackball was Missile Command. But the Atari 800XL wasn't just for playing games, it was also a powerful tool for programming with its built-in basic language. More advanced programmers could also use Assembler, which was a lot closer to the machine language than basic and allowed to create faster code which was needed in order to create games. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane with the Atari 800XL. I hope you enjoyed learning about this classic computer and the games and peripherals that made it such a beloved system. Until next time, happy retro gaming!